What is up, people? We are out here in the garage, getting some stuff together. We're gonna do a little, uh, in the world. We're gonna uh, getting some stuff together out here in the garage. We're gonna do a little, little vlog today. A little something, something different. We'll change, change a pace. Um, I gotta get on the old graph here and get some, get some maps off of it before I send it back. Because. I'm going fishing, which I'll tell you guys about here in a minute, and I won't have any maps to go off of. So, plans for today. Ugh. First of all, I gotta find my mic cover because if uh, if you guys watched the last video, you probably seen that. You uh, probably saw that. There's a lot of wind noise, and I'm not a fan of wind noise in my videos. So, I need to find my microphone, or my, uh, my wind slayer, as they, as they call it. I gotta figure out what I did with it, because that thing works so beautifully. Which, if you guys are ever interested in anything I've got, like the wind slayer, I'll always leave links in the description below for you guys to check out for yourself. It's called the wind slayer, and if you guys... If you guys use a GoPro and are tired of wind noise, I highly recommend the Wind Slayer. That thing works awesome. I can't find it. Anyways, plans for today uh, consist of... Anyways, I've been doing a lot of fishing here lately, and uh, a lot of it's been off camera, just because we haven't been doing too great. And um, I've been losing a lot of lures, so i gotta go. I got to go replace some lures that I've lost. And I figure while I'm out, I might as well stop by, you know, pond, get some fishing in, and actually catch a decent bass, hopefully, uh, because I have not caught a decent bass in a long time. Also, when it comes to the boat, there's another video that I'm thinking about trying to do, and it involves cleaning my boat. And there's something that I have a really big pet peeve with, and I can't. I haven't, ha I haven't had any luck, so I've been doing some research, and I think I figured out a way to take care of my problem. My problem is this. See all that stuff, guys? Just crazy, crazy water spots. And you get that from, well, one, you know, being out in the rain or whatever. But when you stop the boat, water comes up and splashes and gets, you know, the back of the boat wet. That water dries on the boat, bakes out in the sun while you're on the lake, and it gives it this really rough feel. I mean, you can feel it. And it's it, one that looks terrible. I mean, your your boat loses all of its shine, and it's actually pretty bad on the paint, guys. So if you've got an aluminum boat like myself, uh, I'm sure fiberglass boats where they've got a gel coat isn't you know it's not as big of an issue. But as far as like powder coated or painted boats like this one, um, I see it becoming more of an issue than I see it becoming a pretty big issue. So. I'm going to actually try here in the next few days to uh, gather up the products and see if I can get this fixed. And I'll go ahead and maybe record it and see if I can get it, if I can get it fixed. And I'll put a video up for you guys and hopefully some of you guys out there can take that uh, and use it on your own boats if you're dealing with the same problems I'm dealing with. Alright, so anyways, I can't, I can't find my, my windbreaker, wind slayer, whatever you want to call it for the GoPro so we're gonna have to go with uh, we're gonna have to go without it hopefully the wind stays down it's really not too bad right now it's pretty calm hopefully it stays down so you guys get some uh, some better quality audio because I, I hate I hate putting out a video that's got a lot of wind noise I know it I know it sucks to watch but anyways uh, we're gonna go to the pond do some fishing real fast uh, while we got daylight and then uh, I'll probably go to the store after and get some baits and I guess I can go over uh, I'll go over what I got and uh, go from there so I'll uh, I'll see you guys on the water <clears throat> all right so I was gonna use a chatterbait but uh, I'm so smart that I left them at the house and the boat so I'm going to tie on this black spinnerbait here, which I've had pretty good luck here with. So hopefully we can get us a nice, nice, chunky, juicy largemouth.
awesome audio awesome oh my god why am i fit why am i fishing next to a construction site jesus christ unfortunately it looks like there's been a lot of people over here fishing all this grass is laid down Oh no, just had one to come off. Dude, that's twice. Last cast. There's a little kid like rapping. <laughs> so uh, we got uh, we got trolled pretty hard there by them them fish. I did get to kind of hook up with a couple of them, probably the same fish, but uh, unfortunately we got we got we got skunked. They um, they didn't want anything top water. They had some interest in the spinner bait, the black spinner bait, but not very much. So, unfortunately, we had to leave empty handed, which sucks because I really, really wanted a juicy, fat, beautiful, big old bass. And uh, yeah, so we are losing daylight, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run by uh, the old tackle store here pick up a few things and um, I will see you guys shortly after all right guys so I am back from the store I got a bunch of stuff all righty so spinnerbait black spinnerbait the one I've used in previous videos if you guys want you can go back and check those videos out um, where I accidentally lost a bunch of these just replacing the ones I've lost get one on here uh, we've got some shaky head uh, jig heads here. This is a, a new, I don't know if it's an, a new brand or what, but I've never heard of them and I haven't really seen them around. It's called Peanut Craft Lures. Uh, it's a football head, uh, shaky head jig. It's got, you know, a pretty wide gap hook here. The hooks seem pretty strong um, and I like the football head ha aspect of them. So I'm going to give these guys a shot and uh, we'll see how they do. I'm not 100% not sure uh, how I feel about them just yet. We'll have to give them a shot first. All right, Pepper Custom Baits, uh, jig rattlers, you know, just to put some rattlers on the jigs. Got some trailers. All right, got a 5XD. I uh, actually lost this uh, recently in, a, in the lake, and um, for some reason, I've been having pretty good luck on these 5XDs lately. And I don't know if it's just a, a time of year kind of deal or what, so um, uh, I have been using the 5XD quite a bit here lately, and, and I had a couple of them. End up breaking off both of them, getting hung up in the rocks and stuff. Because, you know, using a crankbait, you bounce it off rocks and, and rock piles and stuff like that. And, uh, unfortunately, they just got hung up in the rocks and I could not get them out. That being said, I've got a Norman Lures crankbait. I've never used Norman Lures. Um, I, I've heard of them, but I've just never... I've never... I've never used one, you know what I mean? I've, I've never... I've never... I've never been around people that's used them personally, I don't think. And I personally have never used one. So I've got this uh, kind of a green with a lot of sparkle colored crankbait. And it's supposed to go 11 to 17 feet, which is about the same as a 5XD. Um, and, you know, I figure I, I had actually had two 5XDs. And I, put, I put one back and got this instead just because I want to try it. It's actually a little cheaper, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but it seems, you know, seems pretty cool. I like the design. I like the color. Uh, the lip seems really big. I think they could have done a smaller lip on it, but 
Um, maybe the action will be a little different than the 5XD and uh, make a difference. Uh, hook quality seems pretty good. Uh, we'll have to see how it does on the water and uh, once I hook a fish with it, um, we'll go from there. Speaking of hooks, I did get some Mustad uh, size 6, size, sorry, size 2 hooks uh, to replace the 5XD, 6XD, and some other crankbaits that I've got. I needed some, uh, some new troubles. And again, with the Pepper Custom Baits, I've never used Pepper Custom Baits before. I'm giving them a shot as well. I'm, I'm kind of going all out on the new stuff. Uh, a couple of football head jigs. Got this one. It's got some brown and green with like purple, uh, purple and green flake to it. I kind of like that one. And then I've got this one, which is like a, uh, a, a sky blue with some brown and green in there. Uh, same weight. It's a football head. What are these? Three quarter ounce. Sorry, three quarter ounce and a half ounce. About the same weight. So that's all I got, guys. You know, it's. Uh, not too awful expensive. I think it was like 45 bucks. Um, I did look at rods while I was there, and the reason I'm looking at rods is one, I've been wanting a third, a third uh, casting setup uh, just for just to you know, so I don't have to retie as often. And also, you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll notice that I keep having problems with my G Loomis, and I really enjoy that rod. I really like it. I like the feel of it. But for some weird reason, and I, I can't explain it. I've checked everything. I've checked all my eyelets. I've checked, you know, all this stuff. Uh, maybe I'm not looking good enough. But for some reason, I keep breaking off my braid, and I don't know why. And it's so irritating. I can't figure it out. So I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting into this. Maybe I should try a different rod. You know, Gene Loomis is, is not a cheap rod, and maybe, you know, I had a little better hopes for what it, what it would be, you know, versus what it is. And, uh, you know, I'm not, right now, I'm not happy with it. And I'm blaming the rod, and it very well could not be the rod. I'm just, maybe I'm just blaming the wrong thing. But as of right now, I'm thinking this rod is wearing down my braids some way, somehow, and putting weak spots in it. Maybe it's the real, but again, that's a, a Shimano Curato, and um, I, I, you know, I've heard I've heard so many good things about you know both things, both the Shimano and the G Loomis, and I'm not sure why I would be having issues with my braid getting weak spots put in it. And again, with the braid, I'm using you know um, Power Pro 20 pound braid. It shouldn't be breaking so easily, and and if like again, if you've seen the videos, you've seen that I'll just be in the middle of a cast and it just snaps, it just breaks like right at the reel or wherever. It's never like a not failure. It's always usually it's right at the reel or in the middle somewhere between the rod and lure itself, um, and I'm just left with line. I don't know, I don't know what could be causing this. I guess I need to look a little further into it, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous, and I'm getting a little a little tired of losing lures. I'm losing a lot of them, and thankfully, like with the crankbaits and stuff, if it if it happens with the crankbaits, they float. I can always go get them, but like my jigs and my spinner baits that it does it, you know, I can't I can't go get those back in 30 foot of water, you know, and I don't. I mean, I guess I could get a magnet and. Point being, I just, I'm tired of losing lures, so I'm looking into new rods. I want you guys to tell me in the comment section some rods maybe I should look into. Uh, you know, I'm not looking into anything specific, but it needs to be for bass fishing. I want it to be over seven foot, and I want it, I want a good heavy, heavy rod. I want a good, but I want it sensitive. I want a very sensitive, heavy rod um, so I can whiz stuff out there. I like I like to cast, you know, I like to get a good long cast. I don't I don't really fish right under the boat very much. So a good, heavy, sensitive rod and uh I want I want you guys I want your guys' opinion on a rod I should look for. Well guys that about wraps up everything I've got going on for today. Uh I know this video was kinda weird and random. We didn't catch much fish, you know, there's probably not a whole lot going on but 
Uh, I just want to make a little vlog video. I need to get some some videos put up for you guys. You know, I'm not posting very often, and uh, I apologize for that. If you guys are interested in any of the baits I use, any of the camera equipment I use, or any of the uh, the fishing equipment such as rods, reels, whatever, uh, if you want to check them out for yourself, I always leave links in the description below uh, for you guys to to go and and shop for if you're interested in that. Also, in the description below, you'll find a link to my Facebook page. Uh, I post on there a lot more often than I post on YouTube, which it, I, I feel like it should be opposite. Uh, but if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and get on the Facebook page and follow me on there, which I don't have many followers on right now. And uh, you'll see some just some some instructional videos that I share and and some funny you know pictures and videos that I also uh, find interesting and think that you guys would find interesting as well. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. I really appreciate it. I will have some more videos coming up. Uh, I think in the next couple days we'll be doing multiple videos, uh, mostly to do with the boat, uh, as I said earlier, with the cleaning of water spots. And one will be going to a brand new lake, hopefully, uh, and see how we do there. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.